Next up, Mauritius. After months of anticipation, we embarked on our first trip on our Africa leg to Mauritius via Dubai. I think one of the things I was looking forward most to this trip is being with my team. So, of course, I had Jolo, Liz, but also Ericsson and Sam. We got a glimpse of the beauty of Mauritius from our airplane windows and when we touched down, we had quite a scenic little drive on the way to the hotel. Here's a map of Mauritius. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Actually, we are here at the airport mm -hmm. and we'll do the southeast coastal road to go to Four Seasons. We're staying at the Four Seasons. to Mauritius by Augusto from Global Child. Global Child is an international travel show um, that aims to travel with purpose. So it showcases a lot of beautiful destinations whilst also having the mission to give back. It was exciting also because it's Sam and I's first project together outside of our charity efforts with music. So this is our first time sharing the screen. So that was really special. This is only beginning of our adventure here in Mauritius, so join us on our journey. Journey with me, Africa. beautiful Mauritius and today is our first day of shooting with local child. We're about to play golf and I've never ever ever even attempted golf before. I'm really excited to at least give it a try. Guys, it's my first time to play golf ever. You could probably tell by this footage where I'm doing so well and missing the ball. <laughs> Swing is like a dance. No. Too bad I'm a bad dancer. <laughs> but Sam was such a natural. He just hit it out of the park every time. Sound old. Today was also our first opportunity to bond with Augusto and his team. Um, it's always interesting to get to know people and their way of life and their different culture. I was really just looking forward to what our adventures would hold here at Mauritius. Time for the water sports portion. I guess, what do you call those little boat things that you paddle with? Paddle up. I'm just like cute. It's so funny because I, I was. We were both pedaling and I was like, I'll, I'll do it. I'll, I'll take it over. It's the last, you know, we're almost I was there. like, okay. <laughs> she was doing a lot more than I thought. <laughs> <laughs> it's a wrap. Day one. It was awesome. These guys are very, very professional. It's a wrap on day one. Now it's free time. What should we do? Oh, I've got enough. Yeah. <laughs> Rise and shine, day two. It's a big old <laughs> <laughs> It's in my room. Oh, my God. I got a good workout.
<laughs> Today was really an adventure packed day, so we made our way to the Seven Cascades. We thought we would actually cancel this part of the itinerary because the weather looked so gloomy. But we went ahead, we said a prayer. We asked for the best possible weather. They were saying that it might be raining there and blah blah blah. But you are God over the weather, you're God over every moment. Hello, how are we going? How are you? Good. Nice to meet you. How's it going? Good. All right, so he is an expert guide. So tell us what we're going to see today. So today we're going to go see the Seven Cascades, also known as the Tamarind Falls. And yeah, it's going to be a journey. It's going to be good fun. That's awesome. Awesome. Right. You guys ready? Yeah. Let's go. Follow the journey. Let's go. So at the moment we're going down to the waterfalls, and as you can see, it's quite a treacherous little walk. But hey, we're all up for adventure, and it's raining a little bit, but we're not let letting that stop us. We're going to the towards the water anywhere. Yeah. You see each other? The more slippery, the more. <laughs> no, I take that back. No one's going to slip today. Okay, Jesus. let's do it. Ready, guys? And we descended through these very rocky pathways, quite slippery. A lot of laughs also making our way down. We soon realized that we were standing at the top of the seventh highest waterfall that cascaded into seven separate waterfalls. The sun peeked through and when we saw the drone footage as it pulled back and showcased those seven falls, we were just in awe of what we were standing on top of. Go! <laughs> Go! <laughs> hey everyone so outfit change day two we just came from the seven cascades and now we're here at the seven colored dunes which is a geographical location known for its beautiful colored and uniquely colored dunes so i'm really excited to see it the weather is cooperating with us so i'm hoping and praying that it stays this way but yeah i don't think i've gone i've seen anything like this so i'm excited to take you guys along see what it's like through fresh eyes just like mine so let's go we made our way to the seven colored earths which is a geological site here in Mauritius where it showcases seven different colors of sand placed in this one area. So it looks like art on the landscape. It's the erosion over millions of years and then the oxidation of those minerals that's created this really beautiful, almost like artwork of color on the sand. So super cool. I think this is definitely going to be a highlight of the trip. Beautiful and the sun comes out. It's like, wow. It was and we amazing. prayed about it. We're like, yeah. please give us the weather. <laughs> and even on the way here, it's like, okay, no, we got lucky with the waterfall, but yeah. coming here, but I mean, God is good. Yeah, he's so good. We're very, very lucky. <laughs> oh, I do, I do, I do, I love Is it me you're looking for? So just a couple of hundred meters from the seven colored dunes is this majestic beauty, which is actually, hello. The highest, uh, <laughs> it's the highest waterfall in all of Mauritius. In all of Mauritius. It is a whole 100. over a hundred meters. It's a hundred. Wow. It's a hundred meters tall, exactly? <laughs> yeah, I measured it earlier, exactly to the point. Wow. And you can Beautiful. even see like all yeah. the way down. Cold. Tip number two, use your boyfriend as a windbreaker. 
<laughs> hey guys, so this marks the end of our second day in Mauritius. We had quite an adventurous day. We went to waterfalls, we went to multicolored sand dunes, and now we're back here at Four Seasons at the resort, and we're all starving. <laughs> And you know, food is life, so we're going to go and eat. This is Bamboo Beach, and this is the restaurant. And they specialize in Mediterranean food. And the last couple of days has been so long. And we're starving. We haven't eaten since breakfast, which it's 5 p.m. now, so the stomach is singing. <laughs> it's not loving. <laughs> it's not loving, the love more. <laughs> the stomach is. <laughs> Good morning everyone, day three here in beautiful Mauritius. Our weather is a little bit looking like it's not gonna cooperate, but we're hoping because we're going out on an island today, we're gonna see some animals and also learn about animal conservation here in Mauritius. So that's gonna be a cool experience. I'm not sure what kind of animals we're gonna see, but hopefully we're lucky to see them in their natural habitat and to learn about their conservation and their protection. Day three, we set off for the sea right from our Four Seasons Resort. We took a boat and headed over to an island that serves as a nature reserve for the Mauritian Wildlife Foundation. Like many islands teeming with life, Mauritius is also a victim of over deforestation, which affects its wildlife. So I was really looking forward to learning about how the Mauritian Wildlife Foundation was going about preserving natural habitats and also allowing local species of flora, fauna and animals to thrive. So when we met the team from the Mauritian Wildlife Foundation who greeted us on the island itself, they were so warm and they really, you could tell, were passionate about the work that they do. It's really contagious when you meet people and volunteers like that because it's almost like they lend you their passion and then you really care about what the work is also. This is my first time to see a tortoise in real life and it's just crazy. At first we were greeted by this ancient looking tortoise. Something I've never seen before. Like as we go through and we learn about the plants and we learn about the animals, like you start to again solidify the idea that we're all interconnected. Not just us as humans, but you know, the, the trees to the insects, to the animals, to us, to the climate, to the soil. You know, everything is interconnected and it just further like solidifies the idea that we need nature, but nature doesn't necessarily need us. So we, we should really like take active effort to look after them. What are we about to go into? Um, we are going to see the baby tortoises. Mauritius. Got it. So we're going into the tortoise nursery. So you can see behind us in this caged area, they take the baby tortoises that are born in the two artificial like nesting areas yes. here and it's then here. Wow, I sounded like an Australian. Here, <laughs> and then once they hatch and then they come out of the sand, they actually grab them and then put them in here. 
And then we made our way to this part of the island that served as almost a nursery for baby tortoises that allowed them to grow out of harm's way. So if you can see, I'm holding one of these baby tortoises. So here at the reserve, um, they obviously allow nature to take its course. And these little baby turtles are hatched out on the island and then they actually bring them here so they can monitor them, make sure that they're healthy, and just keep an eye on these little guys. And then when they become around four to five years old, they'll transfer them to a different island where they'll just become a part of the natural population and grow up to be from 150 to 200 years old. Can you imagine? This little guy is gonna see a lot in his lifetime. And it was so funny because while we were filming inside this enclosure, I saw the Jolo get bitten by a tortoise. <laughs> His reaction was so funny. Okay, so what happened to you? You know what, there's a lot. I think they're very hungry. That's what they did to me. Oh they bit God. me. They bit you ferociously. <laughs> oh, there's walang the, 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 yeah. the mouth part. The body. <laughs> <laughs> the moral of the story is wear rubber shoes <laughs> like Aishi. <laughs> so I really enjoyed this portion of our trip because it was really educational and you know when you talk about traveling with purpose it's nice to really enrich yourselves with local customs and also about giving respect to the place that you're traveling to and that includes looking after their natural habitats their animals and their environment. After that, we headed back to the resort and we had a few interviews. And it was just a really wonderful opportunity to take in the scenery, to wind down a little bit from such a busy day. That you're your amazing singer and actress, <laughs> amazing couples, yeah. Thank you, Ingan. Thank you. Pinoy na? I know, my Pinoy palatito. Because we were saying, impossible na talaga na wala na kahit isang Pinoy na dito sa Mauritius. Pero buti na lang we met her. And yeah, that wraps our ano na third day. Day three na. Day three. <laughs> Raise your back <laughs> Tomorrow's gonna be a super early start for us guys because you're going to go swimming with the dolphin. Yeah, and, and since I, I love waking up early, I'm so, I'm, I, I'm so excited to actually swim with the dolphins. I'm not excited to swim in the cold. It's kind of well, in the Philippines, the water is just warm. It's so nice and warm here. When, when we went on the, like the paddle boats, like I just put my feet in. I was like, mm, nope. It's a bit cold. Yeah, so we better have a full wetsuit. That's really thick. We're not gonna. Yeah, like, especially in the morning. If we're, if we're going in the water in the morning, it's kind of so cold. You know, the sun's not gonna be. But it's cold. Uh, it's super so. cold. You're gonna watch our our. Um, What's it called? Our discomfort tomorrow. But hopefully it's worth it. Hopefully there's like heaps of pods of dolphins yeah. praying. Praying so coming. Na my uh whales. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So stay tuned. We'll see you guys on day Journey with me, Africa.